The objective is to multiply multi-digit whole numbers and multiples of 10 using place value patterns and the distributive and associative properties. Take a look at this problem here. 4 times 30. I think that you'll agree with me that 4 times 30 could also be written as 4 times 3 tenths. How do you solve 4 times 3 tenths? What do you get? Right, 12 tenths, which equals what in standard form? 120. So 4 times 30 is 120. Let's solve another problem. 4 tens times 3 tens. Tens times tens, we're going to get hundreds. We're going to get 12 hundreds, which we write as what? 1,200. How's this problem different? Well, now we have tens, and we also have hundreds. We're multiplying tens times hundreds, not ones times ones or tens times tens. We're multiplying tens times hundreds. Four tens is the same as four times ten. And three hundreds is the same as three times what? Right, 100. We could rewrite our problem so that we have 4 times 10 times 3 times 100. Or we can move things around a little bit and have it as 4 times 3 times 10 times 100. 4 times 3 is 12. 10 times 100 is 1,000, so that we get the number 12,000. Here we have 60 times 50. 6 times 10 times 5 times 10. Group together 6 times 5 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 equals 100. 6 times 5 is 30, so I have 30 hundredths, which is also equal to 3,000. 60 times 50 equals 3,000. Here's another problem. Let's break it apart. 6 times what? 10 times 5 times 1,000. Group our single digits there. 6 times 5 times 10 times 1,000. 10 times 1,000 is equal to 10,000. 6 times 5 is 30. So I have 3, 0, followed by 4 more zeros or the number 300,000, as I simplify that and work that out. Solve this. You try. Now, if we have that, what would the answer be for 451 times 80? There you go, we broke it apart. 8 is equal to 8 times 10. And then so I'd have the answer to 451 times 8 times 10. So we take our answer here, multiply it by 10. There we go. 36,080. Here's another problem to solve. This breaks down into 31 times 10, 
times 4 times 100. Grouping together, 31 times 4 times 10 times 100. 10 times 100 is 1,000. 31 times 4 is 124. So I have 124,000 as my answer. You try. Group the numbers together. Twenty one times three is sixty three. So I end up with sixty three thousand as my answer. Here are a few more. 70 times 900. 70 breaks apart into 7 times 10. And then we're multiplying by 9. 900 breaks down into 9 times 100. Group 7 and 9 together. So that leaves us with 10 times 100 still. And then we can solve that. 10 times 100 is 1,000. 7 times 9 is 63. So this equals 63,000. Read our whole number sentence together. 70 times 900 equals 63,000.